Last month, the US Eagles missed out on the chance to qualify for the 2015 World Cup when they lost to Canada. But they'll have another opportunity when they take on Uruguay in the final America's Playoff later this year. Hoping to lead them into a second consecutive World Cup Finals is their globetrotting captain, Todd Clever. When I first picked up a rugby ball, I really didn't like the sport. I mean, I, I, I didn't fall in love with the sport the first, first time I played. You know, I was maybe a bit undersized and I was playing with older guys and my older brother and stuff. But once I saw the opportunity of travel the world and, and, and the team was going to go on, on a UK tour for 10 days and only play two games and go see castles and you know, do that and the next one was going to be in Ireland and, and so on and so on, and I just kind of like, oh, you know, I, I better start enjoying the sport so I can see the world. And what better place to start is rugby education than New Zealand. I was uh, playing at University of Nevada, Reno, and I uh, was on the seventh circuit, and our coach was uh, from New Zealand. And uh, he kind of offered me a club deal. I took that opportunity and you know, worked real hard and you know, earned, earned a spot in the North Harbor team. I, I remember going through some of my first training sessions with, with Harbor, and, and, and I was learning lines. You know, I, I didn't know, you know what kind of lines of unders and overs and blockers. And, and cuts and things like that, and I was already playing international rugby, and I and I didn't know it. So I mean, just being around, uh, you know, the, the professionalism and, and the coaches that took the time and took a chance on me uh, to, to to bring me over and to sign me on was uh, was was fantastic. Clever was part of the U.S. squad that lost all four of their pool matches at the World Cup in France. It was clear things had to change. After the. 2007 World Cup, I, I went to went to USA Rugby and kind of you know if if, if we want to compete, if we want to you know compete with these tier one nations and and, and beat the tier two nations, um, we're going to have to make this professional. You know we need full time rugby players. And I said, hey, I have offers to go overseas, but I'm willing to stay here, and you know be a pioneer and and and, and get uh, get rugby moving in the right direction. So I, I signed on a full time contract with USA Rugby, and I was playing sevens and fifteens. And, uh, and our goal was to get at least uh, 21 other guys, to get 22 guys under contract that are in the States, train together, be full-time athletes. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out. Um, the, the funds weren't there for USA Rugby, so they bought me out of my contract, and, and I was on the search to, to get a job and, and uh, had a couple opportunities, one in, one in England and, and uh, one came up in South Africa. So, uh, so I moved down to Johannesburg and, and uh, joined the Super 14 franchise, uh, the Lions. I love the country. I mean, it was uh, uh, the pe the people there. They're rugby mad, and, and, and they and they play a good style and, and physical. And you know, I felt like I could uh, you know bring some bring bring my aspect of rugby and, and play well there. So um, I loved it. Having become the first American to play Super Rugby, Clever's next and current destination was Japan. Three years on and having won the top league with Suntory, he's now playing for NTT Shining Arcs and has witnessed firsthand the progress being made in a rapidly developing rugby scene. It's getting more physical, which is which is what it needs. Um, you know, it's it's been a professional sport in a while, but you know that the the professionalism is is the training wise and the skill wise, but it was never really into the gym. Um, and I know that they're forcing uh, all the clubs, they're getting uh, a lot of overseas uh, S&C coaches, strength and conditioning coaches, and um, they're bringing them in and uh, it, it, is, it is changing the game, getting a bit more physical and, and that's what the Japan national team needs. You know, they, ha they have the speed and they play fastball, they live off it, but, uh, but, but they are struggling with that physicality and, 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 I, and I see the, see the change and I, I think they're going to be uh, getting better and better each year. The 2019 World Cup in Japan may be beyond him, but Clever's determined to leave a lasting legacy in two years' time. I took over after the 2007 World Cup, and uh, you know I remember the last game in the World Cup against South Africa. We, we had a, played well, but you know our team was so so not on the same page, and 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 where we are now, you know, we, we're ready to peak and we're ready to stay at that peak for, for a while and only get better and better. So um, I'm looking forward to the to, to the World Cup and, uh, you know, the, there's some sort of some bumps in the way to get there. And uh, the qualification is, is a big one. And uh, and and just just leave uh, leave rugby in America, you know, after after my playing days better than better than when I came in.